one in the last class uh, we have discussed oxy mercuration demercuration reaction of uh, alkene that means uh, by oxy mercuration demercuration reaction alkene is converted to alcohol another reaction was uh, uh, hydroboration oxidation reaction in that reaction also hydroboration oxidation reaction also alkene is converted to alcohol now in this class we discuss another important uh, reaction of uh, alkene that is uh, hydroxylation reaction of uh, alkene hydroxylation 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 uh, reactions of alkene alkene in hydroxylation reaction two oh groups are added across the double bond to form vicinal diol what is that two two oh groups are groups are add, added across the double bond of an alkene across the double bond of an alkene to give to give vicinal vicinal diol diol or uh, glycol vicinal diol or uh, glycol okay that means so look at here ch2 double bond ch2 what will happen in this type of reaction two oh groups are added across the double bond that means uh, ch2 here it will become oh and here also ch2 oh this is one two diol vicinal diol two oh groups are added across the across the double bond this uh, carbon is getting oh group this carbon is also getting oh group this type of reaction is known as a hydroxylation reaction hydroxylation reaction now how we can add these two uh, oh groups across the double bond let us go through the different methods for the hydroxylation that means uh, adding of two oh group in the adjacent uh, double bonded carbon atom okay in hydroxylation reaction the first one is uh, number 1 cis hydroxylation cis hydroxylation reaction hydroxylation cis hydroxylation okay or it is also known as uh, syn hydroxylation syn hydroxylation in cis hydroxylation or syn hydroxylation the oh groups are added on the same side of the double bonded carbon the oh groups are added on the same side of the double bonded carbon for cis hydroxylation first method yeah first method is using 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 cold dilute dilute alkaline kmno4 using cold dilute alkaline alkaline kmno4 cold dilute alkaline kmno4 this is also known as bayes reagent cold dilute alkaline kmno4 is known as bayes reagent b a e y e r s bayes reagent okay when alkene is treated with cold dilute alkaline kmno4 we get uh, cis 12 diol example example look at here ch3 ch double bond ch2 so this complete reaction can be written like this this is oxidation reaction plus h2o okay in presence of a cold dilute alkaline alkaline kmno4 that means bayes reagent cold dilute alkaline kmno4 bayes reagent what we get uh, the oh group is adding on the same side of this double bonded carbon so the product is uh, ch3 ch single bond ch2 and here it will become oh and here is also oh what is this one propane propane 1 2 diol propane 1 2 diol this is what is known as cis hydroxylation reaction 
For, for cis hydroxylation, first reagent we are using Bayer's reagent. Bayer's reagent is uh, cold dilute alkaline KMnO4. When alkene react with the cold dilute alkaline KMnO4, what we get? We get uh, cis 1 2 diol. Example, uh, propane react with uh, Bayer's reagent, we get propane 1 2 diol. The OH groups are on the same side of the uh, CC, CC bond. Okay. Now look at this reaction. Uh, this uh, reaction with the Bayer's reagent is a test to distinguish between alkane and alkene. When alkene, that means alkene react with the Bayer's reagent, we know that alkaline, this cold dilute alkaline KMnO4 is having a pink color. That means Bayer's reagent is having a pink color. When the Bayer's pink colored Bayer's reagent is reacting with the Alkene, what will happen? The pink color is uh, disappearing because the Bayer's reagent is reacting with uh, alkene and we get 1,2-diol. Uh, okay, but in the case of alkene, what will happen? The pink color is retained. That means uh, alkene, alkanes do not react with the uh, Bayer's reagent. Therefore, what will happen? The pink color of the Bayer's reagent will be retained. But in the case of alkene, the pink color is uh, uh, disappeared because the Bayer's reagent is reacting with the uh, alkene and we will get uh, one to diol. Now, this is the first method for the preparation of cis hydroxylation or uh, uh, cis one to diol. Now, second method using using osmium tetroxide osmium tetroxide using for cis hydroxylation we use osmium tetroxide osmium osmium tetroxide osmium tetroxide so look at it here again the same thing when alkene ch3 ch double bond ch2 react with uh, uh, osmium tetroxide that means uh, OSO4 osmium tetroxide in presence of ether in presence of ether one is and uh, we uh, also another reagent we need that is sodium bisulfite NaHSO3 NaHSO3 alkene react with uh, uh, osmium tetroxide in presence of ether and uh, sodium bisulfite sodium bisulfite we get uh, uh, cis diol ch3 ch oh uh, ch2 oh okay this way also we can prepare uh, cis 1 2 diol this is known as a cis hydroxylation for cis hydroxylation first reagent we are using is a Bayer's reagent and the sex, uh, second one is uh, osmium tetroxide osmium tetroxide clear okay now second one is uh, trans hydroxylation or anti hydroxylation in anti hydroxylation or trans hydroxylation what is happening the OH groups are in the opposite side of the CC bond okay second one is uh, uh, what is that uh, trans trans hydroxylation hydroxylation or uh, anti hydroxylation anti hydroxylation anti hydroxylation trans hydroxylation or uh, anti hydroxylation look at here in uh, trans hydroxylation or anti hydroxylation uh, the first step is uh, step 1 is uh, epoxidation step 1 step 1 epoxidation epoxidation what do you mean by epoxidation? In the, the uh, transhydroxyl, the step one is epoxidation. That means uh, here the alkene is treated with uh, peroxy acid. Peroxy acid. Alkene is treated with uh, a peroxy acid and we get uh, uh, epoxide. Epoxide. So look at it here. When an alkene, example, example, CH3, CH double bond, CH2 is reacted with uh, a peroxy acid so epoxidation means alkene alkene reacts with uh, react with uh, with uh, peroxy acid peroxy peroxy acid peroxy acid general formula carboxylic acid is uh, rcooh this is carboxylic acid rcooh but peroxy acid means 
you can see that R C O O O H. This is peroxy acid. R C O R C O O H is our carboxylic acid. Peroxy acid means there is one more oxygen. R C O O O H peroxy acid to give to give uh, three membered three membered three membered three membered cyclic ether three membered three membered cyclic cyclic ether ether known as known as epoxide known as epoxide or oxy ray it is also known as oxy ray this reaction is known as uh, epoxidation what is that alkene react with peroxy acid so example ch3 ch double bond ch2 alkyl ch3 ch double bond ch2 react with peroxy acid uh, example ch3 co o oh this is a peroxy acid peroxy acetic acid this one is react with peroxy acid what do you get look at it here what the product is, will be you get to give three membered cyclic ether three membered cyclic ether look at here how i am writing C, uh, i am writing uh, ch3 here it is ch this ch now i am writing single bond ch2 okay now you look at it here here is a uh, 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 structure like this. Okay, this is uh, epoxide uh, propane. Uh, this is epoxide. Uh, this is a uh, epoxide. Okay, uh, so uh, this is a three membered. This is ether. This three membered ether. This is known as uh, uh, epoxide. So look at it here. Uh, when it is, this is peroxy acetic acid. Peroxy, peroxy acetic acid acetic acid okay so this is our propane propane okay propane so when it is reacting with the peroxy acid what will happen this bond this bond breaks and it will become a, a three membered cyclic uh, ether this is known as uh, epoxide this is the this reaction is known as uh, epoxidation this is the first step okay so formation of uh, epoxide formation of uh, epoxide plus plus what will form plus you get uh, ch3 coh okay uh, no uh, no need to mind uh, this product you are getting epoxide okay uh, now in the second step now in the second step so keep it in your mind first step is epoxidation alkene react with the peroxy acid we get uh, epoxide we get uh, epoxide now in the next step this epoxide on hydrolysis this epoxide hydrolysis of uh, step 2 step 2 hydrolysis of hydrolysis hydrolysis of epoxide epoxide okay uh, look at it here our epoxide is ch3 ch ch2 here it is O O hydrolysis means plus H2O plus H2O and this H2O will attack from the back side attack from the back side and we get trans 1 2 diode here it is a CH3 this will change into CHOH and here you are getting CH2OH trans 1 2 diode okay this is a trans this propane 1 2 diode trans propane 1 2 diode okay so OH groups are in the opposite side of the CC bond okay now you can see that uh, this uh, uh, this reaction no need to uh, remember this one but look at here our C CH2 O okay now you can see that uh, H2O this H2O attack on this carbon okay this will break and we get CH3 CH O minus CH2 uh, O H2 plus okay now you can uh, see that oh, see, here it is uh, O minus this bond breaks and it will move to oxygen and it is uh, here it is uh, O minus now you can see that uh, this for stability this H plus that um, that means uh, minus H plus H plus is removed from here and this H plus will attack on this oxygen. So minus H plus and plus H plus. What is minus H plus? 
this bond, this bond breaks from hydrogen, okay, and H plus is removed, H plus, that means minus H plus, and that same H plus is coming to uh, this oxygen, and you get this product, okay, so that is, that's all about uh, uh, trans hydroxylation, so cis hydroxylation and uh, trans hydroxylation, okay, thank you, we continue in the next class.